I was helping my kids clean up today, and I came across Mrs. Potato Head. She's a little out of sorts. I don't know about at your house, but toys here can get messed up pretty quick. Thankfully, with toys, it doesn't take too much work, and we can get them fixed and put them back in order. Makes me think a little bit about our Bible story today and about how when Jesus was able to help people get back together when they were a little out of sorts. There we go. All better. You see, in today's lesson, Jesus was with his disciples, and he went to Capernaum, and he went to the, he went to the synagogue, which was like their church, and he was there on the Sabbath, which to us would be like going to church on a Sunday. And Jesus began to teach the people, but it was unlike any teaching they had heard before. It says the people were amazed at his teaching because he had authority. I wonder if the other teachers were kind of like the teachers in Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. And then Jesus comes in and he teaches with power, with authority, showing them who God is and, and, and how they should live. Well, it got even more exciting. As Jesus was there, there was a man with an unclean or evil spirit. And the spirit cried out and said to Jesus, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. So Jesus commanded the evil spirit to come out of the man, and it did. And so the people were even more amazed. They said, who is this Jesus? He teaches with authority, and he has authority over evil spirits. Well, they didn't have Twitter, Facebook, or text messages then, but word began to spread about the power of Jesus. Later that day, Jesus went to the house of two of his disciples, Simon and Andrew. While he was there, Simon's mother-in-law was in bed and sick, and so Jesus went to her, raised her out of bed, and healed her. She began to serve and care for them. Later that evening, throughout the town, people came and brought all those that were sick, that were hurt, uh, those that had unclean or evil spirits, and Jesus healed them. And Jesus did this throughout his ministry. Those who couldn't see, he gave sight. Those who couldn't speak were able to speak. Those who had skin diseases all over them and who couldn't be touched and couldn't go near to others, Jesus reached out, touched them, and healed them. You see, that was Jesus' mission. He went from town to town preaching and healing. He shared with people about the kingdom of God, of how they could turn to God and be healed from their sin. But he also met their physical needs. He healed those who were sick and who were hurting and who were possessed by evil spirits. Makes me think that there's probably two things that we can do as we think about this lesson. One, talk to your parents if you have questions about the kingdom of God, about being a Christian, about trusting in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. That's why Jesus came. So talk to your parents if you've got questions. Second, perhaps we should stop and pray for those that are hurting. Pray for those that are sick. Pray for those that are lonely or sad or discouraged or, or, or worried. Pray that God would in, encourage them, that God would strengthen them, that God would heal them. And also, let's remember to pray for those who don't have a relationship with Jesus. Let's pray that God would work on their heart and work on their mind so that they would turn from their sins and trust in Jesus and walk with Him. Perhaps in the coming days as you put together a toy, you'll be reminded about how God puts us back together, how God can heal us and restore us and change us when we're out of sorts. Well, I hope you learned something, and I look forward to sharing with you again. Goodbye.